Yeah. First, yeah. I just want to know, so your bread and butter is medical device sales, I heard. So, yes. So what made you want to get into the ingredient space? I had absolutely no interest in getting in the medical, uh, in the uh, ingredient space at all. Mm -hmm. uh, never thought that I'd be doing this. Uh, how, how this all happens is about 15 years ago, I sold a company, uh, my company, to a publicly traded company called Indicare. And when that deal went through, uh, I basically was shut down for about a year. I uh, became class dad and spent more time with my family and regroup. And when my non-compete ran out, my biggest competitor hired me as a consultant. And so to basically teach them you know, what I knew. And so part of that consulting arrangement was for me to train their sales force on help how to sell more effectively. So I give this speech and I thought it was pretty good. You know. And uh, that's it. I, time moves on. It now roll the camera back, we'll roll things up. 15 years later, I get this call from this kid, Matt Nickerson. And he's like, Mr. Spurduty, I've been waiting 15 years to make this phone call. I've always wanted to do business with you. And I have something that's very special. Uh, we developed it at the University of South Florida Research and Innovation. And we'd like to fly you down there. And I was like, what? You know, an ingredient? Like, what do I know about an ingredient? And so I, I flew down there. I saw the operation. I saw what they had. And they had all the science. They had everything wrapped up. They just needed somebody to commercialize it. And that's what I do. I mean, I take companies that are small and I make them big so they fit the profile really well. Awesome. Um, so who do you think will get the most benefit from Basics? Anybody who's alive. And the reason that I say that is because, you know, there have been four major discoveries in medicine in the last hundred years. You basically have the x-ray, you have insulin, you have penicillin, and the discovery of nitric oxide production. And you know, the sports world, everybody thinks nitric oxide is pump, right, and, and endurance and things of that nature, but it's way bigger than that. Uh, in, the discovery of nitric oxide actually won the Nobel Prize back in 1998, because what they discovered was there is a wall in all of your blood vessels called the endothelium. And that when, as you get older, your endothelium shrinks and hardens. And so that's why you just have an immense amount of cardiovascular disease and heart attacks and strokes and things of that nature. So what the folks at University of South Florida discovered was the most potent nitric oxide producer on the planet. And so not only does it have benefits to our friends in sports performance, but we actually have heart healthy benefits, cognitive benefits, uh, things for sexual performance, all kinds of different conditions we're going to be able to help. And honestly, it will not only be a, a series of standalone products, but it will also be a, a, an efficient delivery mechanism for many, many other products. So this, this sports performance is just the start, and what I'm really proud of is that in this world of sports performance, you've got a lot of garbage going on, people putting shit in their bodies, and we're all natural when we're good for these athletes. So a lot of times, you know, with steroids and a lot of bad substances and banned substances that they take, they're trying to get the edge. Our product gives them 50% vasodilation and actually is heart healthy. We've heard nothing but amazing things from our customers and the end users on social media. Um, I've just been seeing, like, I've been monitoring the Vaso6, you know, hashtag. Yep. And it's just crazy what people are saying. They're taking wreckage and they're taking like all these other like Kraken. Yeah. And they're just seeing amazing, amazing benefits from it. So I think it's it's gonna grow so much bigger. So what I get a kick out is we get and now I get these people sending me pictures of their veins, <laughs> right? And they're hashtagging Vaso Six. Now, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody, and you know, obviously in the ingredient world, but I've asked my friends who have been in this business, like my friend Matt Titlow, about has he ever seen anybody hashtag an ingredient, like hashtag citrulline or hashtag, you know, these, and the answer no. is no. no. So what's cool is the end users know what's, what's going on. For them. The other thing I think is really cool is our joint customers that have formulated with Vaso 6, 
their sales are going through the roof because they're getting reorders and things of that nature. So they're getting excitement, yeah. which obviously is, is great because we want to help as many people as we can. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a big part of our strategy is the hashtags because I don't know who started doing that, but it's working and the, there's posts on there growing every single day. I find like four or five new posts every single day on it. And and, it's, it's crazy. And it's organic. Yeah. Like it wasn't it's like, I like wish we tried. thought of it. Right. Yeah. I wish I was like the marketing guru who thought of that. We didn't. <laughs> now we do do it with uh, Matt uh, Nickerson, who is Mr. Bezos 6 mm -hmm. to uh, our community. Um, he's starting a movement called Got Bangs. Oh. So I think that would be cool. So you'll start seeing hashtag Got Bangs because people are just sending the pictures. Well, let's try to, let's I try to. I love that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to incorporate that. Very cool. Um, we kind of already answered what type of reaction have you seen on social media and the press? Have you, have, has, have you seen any like press cover Bezos 6 yet? No, I mean, no, no periodicals have reached out to us, but yeah. we have seen the blogs like Stacker and 3D yeah. and you know, we've seen them pick them up and they've been very nice and they've said really nice things about us. Yeah. Uh, and every single day there's just another, what I love is it's just another person, another bodybuilder, another athlete that says, hey look, you know, this is really helping me and that makes us feel good. That's awesome. That was 